transportation and we shouldn't talk about it because <laughs> I just have my Datsun that I just bought out in California and my father's making me sell it, in fact, and get an American car, so. So you will be truly Americanized then. Truly Americanized, get rid of that stuff. You are uh, back in Western New York and really no stranger to Western New York. You're no, home. I'm. I grew up in Springville, New York, which is about 35 miles south of Buffalo on a farm, so it's great to be able to come back home. I was hoping it would be a little cooler, but I see I missed all the winter weather. We, I think we missed spring this year. We did. We went right from winter into kind of a, a post-winter, and now we're into the summer. Somewhere spring got lost in the shuffle. But well, it's unlike California. It's summer all the time, so. Now, what's it like? Have you been out there recently? Well, I moved to California in there? January, so I've been there for about four months now, and it's been so hot. and. Unlike California, also, it's humid, which mm -hmm. I never thought it was. They all boast about their sunny weather, but I like it here in New York, actually. <laughs> now, you said you, you grew up on a, a farm here. You're going to mm -hmm. hope to get home Fresh and your parents country, are still yeah. there. And oh, yes, they're still there, feeding the cows and the pigs. But not the horse. You lost not your the horse. horse they sold the my way. horse when I left. So. You sold your horse, now you got to sell your car. You have no yes, way to get Yes, I know. It. <laughs> <laughs> we want to talk a little bit about how someone from Western New York uh, ends up as the, the playmate, not only the playmate of the month, but uh, the honor for that 30th anniversary issue. What, well, what went into that selection? Um, not to make a joke about New York or Buffalo, but I left as soon as I could, and I um, <laughs> moved to New York City, and from New York, I moved to Chicago and was working with the Playboy Modeling Agency there, and uh, when the 30th anniversary of the magazine came up, they issued a search throughout the country with about 7,200 women applying for the search. I went in in Chicago and was very lucky. I went through a series of shootings where they um, eliminated some of the girls. I went out to California to meet Mr. Hefner and mm -hmm. eventually I found out that I was chosen. I was very lucky. That's really something. Now what, what goes with that honor? Uh, when well, you, um, the, the you receive a $30,000 prize and also um, I'm entitled to work for Playboy magazine now for I would say up to five years doing promotional tours and things like this, depending on how good I am at them. <laughs> <laughs> we hear a lot about the mysteries of the, the mansion, not only in Chicago, but there's a, a Playboy mansion in California. Well, Mr. Right? Hefner does live in California now, okay. yes. And um, you hear a lot of things about it, I'm <laughs> sure. But living in California, I'm allowed, and so are all the Playmates, to go up to the mansion anytime they so desire um, to have a dinner or lunch or go swimming see all the animals. It's so beautiful mm -hmm. up there, especially in the morning. Everyone is still sleeping and it's just peaceful. It's real pretty. What about your own career? I would assume that, uh, you know, the selection for being the, the 30th anniversary playmate is certainly is going to open some doors oh, for you in, in pursuits of other has. things that, that you really would like to do. You're mm -hmm. doing some acting now? Uh, yes, I'm mm -hmm. studying acting in California and it's, it's wonderful. I love to be in front of the camera. And doing promotions like this takes, takes me away on weekends, so I'm able to go back to California and do the auditions and study during the week. So it works out just perfectly. And, of course, being in the magazine gives you some experience in front of the camera, and it's only been good. It's yeah. can, you, can you combine those, really, uh, in terms of, of long-range goals, modeling, and acting? Or if you, if you wanted to to shift the focus and really pursue well, the one dream, what would that well, be? Well, um, I have shifted the focus, actually. I've, I love New York City and I would love to live there, but it's not really the center of the industry which I'm geared toward now. I would love to be a fashion model, mm -hmm. I'd love to be a computer scientist, all of those things, but you really have to decide what you want and go for that. Now you have to keep in shape, obviously, oh, to, yes. uh, <laughs> you know, to continue the modeling. And you were right. you into weightlifting, you were telling me? Oh, in New York, I never got into anything like that. But now that I'm in California, it's absolutely what they say, healthy all the way. I love to lift weights, and I do aerobics and jog and run all the time, and it's wonderful. It feels great, and I feel strong. Nobody can hurt me at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I have been tempted to, to try Nautilus because I've heard so mm -hmm. much about it. You mentioned that you've done that. Well, and a Nautilus new form is, of that is too, very right? good equipment, but I go to a place now where they have um, water weights. It's called Questar equipment, and they have big water tanks and little controls where, as you start lifting the weights, the water will increase as your muscle builds, and then mm. you do certain repetitions at the highest um, water level, and then you wind back down. So that way, you don't have to keep on getting up and changing the Nautilus weight and things like that. It's mm the best yet. We associate so much uh, a Playboy with the magazine, but they're into so many other things now. The, the cable oh, certainly. channel, mm -hmm. uh, home video in terms of cassettes. Are you involved 
at all in any of that? Well, it, all the Playmates now um, do some type of video for the Playboy channel. And I, as the 30th anniversary, came out on the new fifth home video that Playboy has had. So I'm, uh, it's available in the stores, mm -hmm. and it's also on the Playboy channel. Okay. So. Do you feel like doing a little... Cooking? cooking this you, yes, I was waiting for you to <laughs> mention Thought we'd that. never add. <laughs> people have been postponing breakfast just so we could join mm -hmm. Eddie Callens over in the kitchen this morning. Not only for the fresh fruit, which we're going to steal from the display, <laughs> but uh, also work on orange brandy cake this morning. So mm, I'll tell you what, we'll take, a, we'll take a short break. When we come back, Penny and I will join Eddie Callens in the kitchen. Mm -hmm.